brilliantly caught the catch of the series by Bernard Dewey in the substitute field. And what a magnificent catch diving to his left. That was not Collis King's wicket, that was Bernard Julian's. It was very short, he hit it well. And there goes Bernard Julian taking a magnificent catch and great camera work by the Channel 9 crew and a magnificent bit of cricket by the West Indians. And he's hit that well. A magnificent catch! A screamer! Kepler Vessels picking up a screamer at Backwood Square League. He really hit that Desmond Haynes, pulled the ball away, back with a square leg, and Kepler, Kepler's a Brisbane hero. What can you say, is a short ball pulled around very well by Desmond Haynes with a left-handed, one-handed diving catch, which can only be turned as absolutely magnificent. Great catch. He's taken it, what a magnificent catch by Ian Bowden. Superb, he's taken even Kelly Turan in the corner with the Kelly Turan hitting that on drive, that straight drive, very hard indeed. Ian Boken following through, which is always very difficult. Keeps his eye on the ball and lunges with that left hand outstretch and grasp a tremendous catch. It's out, what a magnificent catch! A ripper, Jeff Howarth diving to his right. One of the catches of the season to date. The New Zealand skipper is delighted. The New Zealanders have been absolutely brilliant in the field today at the Marble Cricket Ground. And Jeff Howth, uh, he's not sure whether to really burst out laughing or to make sure that uh, he hasn't split the webbing in his hand again, but that really goes down as one of the best catches I've seen in that sort of position in front of the wicket. In the air, it's going out towards Dyson. He's running back, he's under it. What a great catch! Gosh, that's one of the best outfield catches you will ever see, John Dyson. A tremendous performance. Yes, he was uh, in a little bit too far for a start. May have misjudged it or perhaps uh, had a problem picking it up. But then in the last fraction of a second, took a tremendous leap into the air and pulled in an absolute blinder. A very delighted bowler rushes out to congratulate him. And uh, that was a gigantic hit from the big fast bowler. And there, and probably the advantage that John Dyson has got, he used to be a soccer goalkeeper. And didn't he just look like a soccer goalkeeper as he went through the air to pull in an absolute blinder? It's gone. He's caught. and Greg Chappell, that master slip fieldsman, threw out the left hand and takes up a classic catch. And what a breakthrough for Australia. A disaster for England as the players leave the ground for lunch. And Greg Chappell taking one of the all-time great catches, dismissing David Gower off the bowling of Lawson. And the crowd have gone mad at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Tremendous judgment by Chappell. Tim Hughes there, delighted, hugging his captain as well he might, as England are six for 169. Well, they don't come any better than that. That was going nearly to a second slip position. Greg Chappell, the solitary slip, got across there on the left hand. We've seen his versatility with the right hand in Melbourne and then going with the left, cat, left hand. And what a catch and well worth Jeff Lawson again. Greg Chappell probably thinking about going to lunch, not anticipating that David Gower go for the big shot. He went for it and what a great catch. There it is in the deep. And Graham Yellow. What a great catch! A magnificent catch by Graham Yellow. It was hard to pick up. He didn't pick it up for a moment. And Safraz is out. That was a magnificent catch, just inches from the ground by Graham Yellow. I think the feature of this catch was the fact that Yellow anticipated it very well and was already speeding in as Safraz slashed outside the off stump. The ball went in the air skimmingly towards deep third man, and Yellow coming in dive forward, elongated himself, and came up with the catch. So that's the second great catch that Yollop has brought off in this innings. And now the sixth wicket is down with 604 on the board. Vessels, oh, what a catch! That's a classic catch if you ever saw one. Gatting at first slip brings off a beauty. And the English contingent in the crowd rise their feet. Union Jack's wave. And Vessels departs thinking, well, if Gatting can catch these sort of chances, 
then perhaps he should have a go at Swallows. It's in the air, what a catch, magnificent catch there by Alan Border. Well, he's been standing in that position, waiting for an opportunity to make a contribution. And what a catch it was. Gilbert got the edge. Border went full length to his left, and he caught it in the end of his fingers. It's a magnificent catch by Alan Border. Took the Australian captain to get it. He'd just taken Hildich away from that third slip position, so he had to go after it. Reed not moving the feet, but Alan Border airborne. He had to go one hand to try and get that little bit extra distance. But isn't he elated as he holds on to it? Embry. Oh, and what a magnificent catch. One-hander. That's got to be a shell of the classic catch. He took a blind there to get rid of Alan Porter in the test match. That was something else. He judged it perfectly for a moment or two, and then suddenly the ball was going over his head and would have bounced just in front of the pickets. Marvellous catch. Well, uh, that is great judgment and skill, perfecting the skills you've practised for so long.